It's so crazy. Do you also struggle like this? It's pretty cool. Sunset time. So we've just reached our yurt camp. These are the traditional nomadic houses of Kyrgyzstan. Uh, the Kyrgyz tribes here, they basically build these uh, yurts. They're actually called Bozoi. Uh, it means in, in Kyrgyz it means grey house so basically they make all of these houses uh, using wood and a few other materials on the inside they usually have wool and sometimes on the roof also they add wool uh, because the wool is a dark shade generally they call this as a uh, bazoi which means grey house so for the first time we get to stay inside one of these tonight and uh, wow it's just like so incredible let me give you a very quick room tour or a yurt tour you need to bang your head and enter in three people can stay inside this yurt this is the traditional type because it is made of wood these days the new ones are made of metal which is like the chinese imported one but this is made by the locals and also since this is at an altitude of 3000 meters it gets really really cold so i think that's why they provided us thick blankets and so many mattresses which will keep us warm and also they have a fireplace with a chimney so that it's going to keep us warm at night and they have carpeted all the walls so it's cozy and nice And this is the kitchen and dining area. As you can see, they have a very interesting setup for a wash basin. And out there in the far, that little blue building you see, that's actually the toilet. And they don't really have any sanitation uh, system here either. But let me just quickly show you what the toilet looks like. This is the shower area. They have a little heating system outside. And these two are the toilets. Shower area. If I come in. I think they heat up the water in this and cold water comes from there and then you just take a bath. So this is where you go to pee and poop. This looks better than the other Kyrgyz toilets I've seen. So they have a little step and they have put a Khamor seat. They have kept tissue paper. So if you open the Khamor seat, it's just a hole in the ground. Sir. My name is Fatima. Sir. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And this and is this your kitchen? It's the kitchen. Kitchen? Cooking. Yes. Cooking. Oh, yeah. ah. yes. So this is what a traditional kitchen I looks like. <laughs> with so much food everywhere. And it's very warm inside. So and it smells great already. So Fatima is cooking some really delicious looking food. But I think that one's meat. Oh, and milk. Milk. This is milk. Horse yes. milk? Cow milk. Cow, Cow milk. milk. Okay. Oh. This meat. You can already see some dill leaves and big, big coriander leaves hanging. Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing something yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> she has so much of cucumbers and onions. And all Eggs. of this. We don't eat cow yet. And right behind the yurts, we have this beautiful lake, Songkul Lake.
This is Fatima's mother. Salam. Pachat. Sinta kita. Sinta kita. Let's go. So what's the plan? Now we are going to go do the activity which I was most looking forward to. It's horseback trekking. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. I do not know. Slow. He'll take you slow. Left leg up. Do you also struggle like this or are you a pro at horse riding or somewhere in between? Let us know. Yes, Shish. How do you feel? I'm scared. You think the horse likes you being there or no? Okay, so we are now riding a horse. <laughs> it's so crazy. This was my dream. Ride so, a horse just okay. beside the lake. Okay, let me explain. So right now, uh, Shish and I are riding these horses. It's the first time we are ever really riding. Uh, so it's pretty difficult. Uh, we are very nervous. I am very nervous at least. The guide is Shishan on the front, but I am sort of on my own as you can see. Brave now, right? This horse, I think he likes one of the mares parked there, so he keeps going back to the other ones. Oh. But uh, what you see in front, that's Uncle Lake. And, uh, amazing. So the curious way of life includes not just uh, eagles, as you saw in one of our previous videos, but also horses. Uh, it's a part of their culture to uh, live with the horses, to raise them as a part of their own family and to use them for both transport as well as cargo needs for themselves. And here at Songkul, uh, many of the yurt camps where the nomadic families live, they offer uh, a small experience of riding the horse along the lake. Uh, one, to learn about how the horses have been uh, sort of domesticated by the nomadic tribes. And Hello, yep. mm -hmm. That's Songkul Lake. And it's crazy. Are you liking it, Nami? It's pretty cool. <gasps> Look, yak babies. Oh yeah. But nice. you know, okay, the one thing I realized is these horses really fart, such smelly ones. It's like everywhere once it releases. So that is one new experience I didn't really, <laughs> really know about.
very interesting first time experience. I don't know if we'll ever do it again. Yeah. One thing I noticed while riding the horse is the like I think the reins the rope goes through the nostrils or something. So it, it probably hurts the horse a lot when uh, you try to steer it. Yeah. So that's why like I didn't really want to pull on either side. I just like the horse seemed to follow the the main guy and at some point my horse was always in front of these two. So we just let them be. Anyways, yeah, I felt safe when my horse's rope was just held by that little boy. I'm yeah. scared because when I was young, I used to learn horse riding. And at one point, when my horse was just very going very slowly, suddenly it started running and it was all out of control. So that had been like a trauma or a bad experience for me. So I always made sure that my horse was held by that little boy. <laughs> so, well. Uh, in Songkhul, a uh, lot of people do horse treks from the very yeah. base of the mountain. So it's like a three-day trek with the horse. Uh, and a lot of people who have a fair bit of experience, I think they are the ones who opt for these treks. Also, uh, you can just rent the horses themselves without the guide, and you can go wherever you want. If you can, if you can do that on your own, then you can go as far as those mountains there, yeah. and even to the lake. Uh, right now, because we don't really know how to ride horses. We just went with the with the boy. I think now we're gonna just go to the beach of the lake and then relax. What do you say? Let's go. Maybe we can take a dip in the water. Maybe not. We have made almost one and a half kilometers away from our yurt camp and now Neet is telling me that he is going to show me a stream of water but all I see is just flat grasslands. So the mountain range is right here behind us and our yurt camp is somewhere there and the lake is right behind too. So our host at the camp she told us that we could go about an hour towards this side and then we could reach the base of the mountains and it's really nice there but we are distracted by the river aren't we trying to find the river it's right there this is the river we thought was going to be full but right now there's nothing here let's go to the mountains okay come Come, say hello. Namit is petting his pet cow, Gauri. Okay. Sunset, come on. So this was our experience at Songkul Lake With Shepherd's Life We and absolutely enjoyed our day And we totally didn't expect that it would be so beautiful yeah. The nature here And uh, I think it's definitely worth coming to Songkul If you have some time in Bishkek And hopefully spend a night at least here <laughs> It's the peak of summer And it's freezing cold here And anyways uh, Thanks you guys for coming along with us 
and, and we'll see you in the next one bye stay warm we are back in our yard now and it's time to sleep and look at this they've just lit the fireplace and it's so warm inside the yard What's your name friend? You, you and me friend. You and Shishira no friend. That's okay. Shishira, who is I your heart? I got the black faucet there. This is my black beauty. So? I always lie in black faucets. I don't know. It's not black, it's brown. It's very brown. Look at that.